walking down the street one day and you're like, yeah, I'm totes the son of God, man. I'm like Jesus and stuff, right? Like, trust me, one of these days, people are going to go ape shit about them some Jesus, you know? It's just going to happen. Sadly enough, God did kind of put you in a human body, which means you get all the hardships that entail this despite your divine power. You realize this suddenly when your stomach begins to grumble one day. You're now hungry. And for some reason, you feel you could really go for some figs. So, considering you're the son of God and stuff, you have a few options when it comes to just how you're exactly going to go about solving this little pickle of yours. Considering you turned water into wine and can multiply loaves of bread and fish, you definitely seem like you have some kind of alchemical wizardry at your disposal. It doesn't seem like it'd be that hard for you to get some dirt, maybe some sticks and stones, perhaps some leaves from a nearby tree. I don't know. The point is, you could probably turn something that's not a fig into a fig. And if you wanted more than just that one fig, you could probably multiply it into tons of figs, and then you could share it with the hungry folk. But nah, that, that, that does seem a little complicated, despite the benefits there, so... Uh, and you really feel the need to do some unique things, you know, be yourself for once, not just an avatar of your, of your father. You know, he'd probably though, he'd probably want you to, to like raise an army and invade a neighboring nation and take their children and virgins as slaves, and there's war booty, and put them to work on growing some figs. And I mean, he'd even take their stockpiles of figs, cause you know them sinners are hoarding them some figs. But, not only is that, again, too fathery there, that'd take a little long to accomplish, because you're hungry now. But while you're considering your options, you spot in the distance a fig tree. What's even more awesome is that on this fig tree are leaves, indicating that it is alive and bearing fruit. Clearly this is the case, or otherwise, you know, your omniscience might have indicated otherwise. So you set off to the fig tree to get a few figs and chow down. But then, a tragedy occurs. When you arrive at the fig tree, there are no figs in the fig tree! But something nastily must be afoot. But it was about this time that you remembered, despite the aforementioned omniscience, since while you're the son of God, you're still somehow technically God as well, that it wasn't quite fig season yet. And you begin to boil with the rage of the god that sent the plagues upon Egypt and slaughtered pretty much everyone in existence except Noah and his family during the flood. So you do the only thing a reasonable deity would do. Well, you, you curse the tree and it dies. Well, it dies tomorrow if my name is Mark. But if my name is Matthew, it dies right now. So, yeah. 